exception to order, please. Set on the agenda if nobody has any objections. And number six, we have a presentation by Sheree Rousey, business manager. to the 23-24 final budget presentation. So this is the final budget presentation to adhere to the compliance of Acts 1 timeline. The final budget has to be passed by June 30th. Over the past month, we worked on staffing changes that occurred with the teacher's bid meeting. We adjusted all the employees to the proper location and department within the budget. We removed the retirees from that budget and budgeted for the amounts of the open positions um, the, that were left after the bid process. I did eliminate the $500,000 transfer to the capital reserve fund that was in the proposed budget. We adjusted other areas of the budget, um, with special ed being the largest decrease that we were able to make in the budget. These decreases were due to some adjustments we were able to make with some of the contracted services and also some decreases for out outside placements for tuition. And that's due to the anticipation of some students that had been previously placed returning to the classroom with the services that we will be providing. These changes result in a total decrease of $922,249 from the proposed final budget that will you approved in May. So this is a breakdown of the 23-24 budget versus the 22-23. The revenue line is the revenue line without a tax increase. However, the recommendation from the administration and from the finance committee, seeing the large deficit, is to increase the tax millage, which would add an additional $807,000 to this amount. The decrease in revenues is from the 22-23 to 23-24 is some of that is a result of less ESSER and COVID-related grants being in the budget due to um, this being the third and final year for these grants. The, a decrease, um, the decrease from the proposed budget to this final budget is also due to a decre decrease in federal funding and also a potential elimination of the level up funding. So the difference, the total difference in revenue budget from the prior year is three million $611,505, which is a 4.45% decrease in revenues from 22-23 to 23-24. Um, just to touch on that, Title I was decreased $211,019 from the prior year, and Title II will be decreased by $35,325. These are just due to federal cuts in education. Also, um, when I had said about the level up funding, um, they, we, we've been advised not to budget that now um, due to there being lack of support to continue this funding. This was the funding I talked to you about in May 
that was added two years ago, and um, we're looking at it not continuing possibly um, for the future years. So there also is so the the expenditure side of the budget. There's an increase in expenditures from the prior year from $82,972,071 to $84,437,960. This results in a 1.77% uh, increase or an increase of $1,465,889 um, over the prior year, which all things considering 1.7% is not a large increase. Um, so one, one of the large items that increased is our um, benefits, which a 14% increase in health insurance and that dental and vision increased three, increasing 3%. So I also, I've showed you this chart, I just updated it with the new budget numbers, with our, um, the final budget numbers. This high graph shows the largest portion of our budget being salaries and benefits, it's 62% of our budget and it's just over 52 million. Purchase services, which include transportation, tuition, and charter schools, makes up 24% of the budget. Supplies, utilities, and equipment is only 5% of the budget, with leaving 9% of the budget left, which is for financing, which is the debt service and bond payments, which is a little under, is almost $8 million. Uh, the, this slide shows the maximum allowable that you can increase taxes. The adjusted index for the Causal School District is not 5.9%. This is with this calculation, you can increase taxes by 0 .8406 mills. That's the maximum allowable increase. This would change the millage rate from 14.2481 to 15.0887. This would generate just over $800,000 um, at a 90% collection rate, which is our average collection rate. I've shown this slide to you previously in May. Um, just to reiterate, this um, would show, it's kind of hard to see on the screen, but for those who have the, um, the presentation in their books, the board members, um, the, if, if you had a $60,000 valued home, assessed value home, it would increase taxes by $50.44. If that equates to $4.20 per month or 97% per week. And then if you had a, just another example would be a $100,000 assessed value home, the additional taxes would be $84.06, which equates to $7 per month or $1.62 per week. Property tax relief money, I just wanted to touch on that and let you know the Homestead Farmstead tax relief money will, for 23-24, we will receive as a district $1,844,484 and that goes back out to the taxpayers for um, a, a credit on their taxes. This results in 9,191 9, homeowners receiving approximately $201 as a reduction in taxes. This is similar to the 22-23 rate. This chart, which I also showed you in May, shows the 10-year average of millage, millage rates for all of the Fayette County schools. You can see that we have not raised taxes since the 2015 school year, while other school districts continue to increase taxes. If you look at the numbers highlighted, these show that the increases in taxes faint on that screen, but it's a slight purple highlight. Uh, showing that we have only raised taxes, Connellsville has only raised taxes two times in the past 10 years, and we have the lowest tax rate in the county. While well, Albert Gallatin raised them three times, with their rate being 15.5920, Brownsville five times, with their rate for last year being 19.43, Frazier raised taxes eight times, with their rate of 21.0098, while 
Laurel Highlands raised taxes five times and their rate last year was 19.3034 and Uniontown raised them three times and their rate last year was 16.64 which our rate was 14.2481 so the average amongst the other school districts is 18.3950 but if you include Connellsville which were the lowest the average across the county is 17.7 which is almost 3.5 mils above Connellsville's tax rate. The last, last time these raised taxes for Connellsville was when the fund balance had been declining and the district had a very low fund balance at just over 200,000. At that point in time, the district not only raised taxes, but significantly decreased staffing, and then the following year closed four elementary schools. These were cost-saving measures that temporarily helped the district we need to evaluate and propose cost savings every year, and also we need to raise taxes even if it is a small amount. You need to remember that this is the amount, this amount that I'm proposing is the maximum you can raise taxes each year, and we can't wait until the fund balance is depleted again to increase taxes. Even if we increase the maximum allowable, we would still be the lowest in, count, in the county at 15.0087. So this is a summary of where we are and where we may be if changes aren't made. So it shows the actual year of the 21-22 school year, the budgeted um, numbers for 22-23, our budget, I changed the numbers for our, the final budget numbers for 23-24 and then projections for 24-25 and 25-26. Um, so, we, we may have had a total fund balance of 19 million with the audit of 21-22. But if you look at that year and we had not received the $12 million of COVID money, we would have been $3.8 million in the negative. We're showing that again, that we will again add to the fund balance this year due to COVID money and however, without those funds, we would have had a negative budget of 5.2 million. Basically, the COVID money has prolonged the deficit that the Connellsville School District may have had for several years. You can see that in 23-24, this is the last year that there is COVID funding with the ESSER, the ESSER COVID money. The costs have continued to increase and the district has not increased local revenue to try to stay on top of these costs. We have had increases to the basic education funding, but we've also seen cuts in federal funding with Title I and Title II. As seen in these projections, by the end of the 25-26 school year, the fund balance will be depleted if you do nothing. The administrative staff tries to look for savings and make recommendations to the school board. We need to work together to figure out what changes can be made to make sure that we, the fund balance is not depleted in the near future. While we are proposing the tax millage increase, raising taxes is one piece of this puzzle, and we will need to work together and look at ways to save money as well as increase revenue. So this graph, it, it shows the history of the fund balance for Connellsville School District. This shows from the fund balance that we had in 2009-10, all the way through the projections that you sh I showed on the previous slide through 25-26 school year. You can see that we had a healthy fund balance in the 2009-10, the 10-11, and the 11-12 school year. Then the balance decreased until we had a fund balance of just 210,000 at the end of the 15-16 school year. Over the next few years, we made drastic changes by furloughing staff, cutting programs, as well as raising taxes. We raised taxes those two years in a row. We also received additional state funding in the 16-17 school year that helped increase that fund balance. This was um, the release of plan con funding from the state. Uh, this, this funding is reimbursements on bond payments for construction bonds that were approved by the state. The state had not funded those um, amounts for several years and then they put forth the money and they released all the funding that was owed to the school districts that had approved funds. 
So in that year, we received $4,464,943 in that funding. This was a one-time windfall that did help the district increase its fund balance in the very needed time. So this, I just to let you know, the state does recommend that school districts maintain an unassigned fund balance of at least 8% of your budget. So the district's unassigned fund balance should be approximately $6.7 million. We need to make sure that history doesn't repeat itself and that we don't find ourselves in the same boat we were in in 14, 15, and 15, 16. So now under the Career and Technical Center, we do have to also approve a budget for the Career and Tech Technical Center on Wednesday. So this slide shows that the Career and Technical Center budget with a 2.25 decrease from the 22-23 budget. The CTC budget is always a balanced budget, so it's offset by the tuition rate that is charged off to the Kansas School District. With this projection, the district's cost for tuition is $2,766,315. The remaining part of their budget is um, $1,731,756, and that comes from state subsidy, grants, and local money, local revenue. Some of that local revenue would be the culinary arts program and cosmetology classes that provide services and provide meals up there for the culinary. So some of the, so the change between the proposed budget and this final budget um, for the CTC, we have decreased the amount by $161,177. Um, includes a decrease, it included a decrease in salary due to some reassignments of staff to the district. This also affected some of the benefit budgets, which uh, health care, social security, and users. There was also a decrease in the Carl Perkins federal revenue. We received confirmation of that grant amount after we had the May meeting. So it's a decrease from $101,957 down to $81,915, which is a decrease of 20, just over $20,000 in Carl Perkins federal funding for the CTC. Um, this net effect, uh, the net effect resulted in a decrease in the tuition amount charged to the school district of $246,928. So in conclusion, after hearing all of this information, I ask that you approve the budget for the 23-24 school year at the meeting on Wednesday. I also strongly suggest that you do consider taking the recommendation from the administration to raise the tax millage for the 23-24 school year. Thanks a lot. Okay, we have no public comment for agenda items, and we'll move into a uh, committee. Under athletics, Mr. Renzi. Thank you, Mr. Lang. Request approval to uh, award bids for fall sports supplies and equipment to the lowest responsible bidder, meeting specifications. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval of the athletic operational fees for the 2023-2024 school year as proposed. No questions or objections like that are placed on the agenda. No questions or objections that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval of the athletic ticket prices for the 2022-2024 school year as proposed. No questions or objections like that are placed on the agenda. 
Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval of the following 2023-2024 annual supplemental contracts contingent upon receipt of a signed contract no later than one month after issuance, including the posting if the contingency is not met as proposed. No questions or objections have been placed on the agenda. Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval of the following 2023-2024 spring supplemental contracts contingent upon receipt of a signed contract no later than one month after issuance, including the post if, if the contingency is not met as proposed. I have no questions or objections like that are placed on the agenda. Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Yeah. The difference of those two, uh, the, the most recent one was spring supplementals, the other one was annual supplementals. Uh, request approval of Dr. Gina Canada as athletic physician at a cost of $4,800 for the 2023-2024 school year. No questions or objections like that based on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval to designate girls wrestling as a PIAA interscholastic sport effective the 2023-2024 school year. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval of the Memorandum of Understanding with the College of Early Education Association for Girls Wrestling. Supplementals beginning the 2023-2024 school year. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval to amend the head wrestling coach title to head boys, girls wrestling coach at a salary of $7,740 and to have two supplemental contracts for assistant girls wrestling coach at a salary of $4,058 for the memorandum of understanding. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Anything else, Mr. Martusi? No, sir. Mr. Sanson. Thank you. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Renzi. Living in the buildings and grounds. Mr. Coat, now. Thank you, Mr. Lake. Uh, now, an award pool repair bid. Request approval to award the bid to repair the high school pool to mainline commercial pools, King of Prussia, PA, at a cost of $61,716.43. No question or objections. I like that placed on the agenda, please. We have a question, Mr. Martrax. Yes, uh, that bid, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, sixty-one thousand seven hundred sixteen in May, and that, and that price included uh, removing the, the old tile and painting down there. And that we decided, uh, or I decided that it was uh, that we didn't have to go that route and that expense to do that. And you can check with Mr. Um, Evans on that because I checked with him and Rivers uh, grandfathered in on that, so we really didn't have to do that. I was kind of wondering why is that bid the same same cost right there? Can anybody answer that? He was the only bidder, Mr. Montreux. I know, but I'm saying, does that include painting and removing the tile? Because if it does, we don't have to do that. We can save that amount, a little bit of money. There. That doesn't include painting and removing the tile. Any other questions? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. That does not include the tile and the painting. Okay, so it's still going to remain the same because the bid in May included those items. That's what I was wondering why this, the price was the same. I thought it would be reduced some. That's the price that they give us. That's the price that I have on it. All right. Any other questions? The price stays the same. The price stays the same. If not, it will be placed on the agenda. Nine, request the conditional approval contingent upon successful submission of screening and background checks of the following summer employment for the 2023 at an hourly rate of $12.50. No questions or objections that I'd like to have that placed on the agenda. No questions or objections that will be placed on the agenda. Uh, that's all I have, Mr. Lee. Uh, Mr. Martuzzi. No, sir. Mr. Kirsch. No, Mr. Bigger. That's all we have, Mr. Lake. Thank you. Thank you. Moving to Carnegie Free Library, Mr. Montiel. We have nothing on the agenda for, for this month. Thank you. Thank you.
Causal Area Career and Technical Center, Mr. Coconut. Uh, well, I request approval to enter into a rental agreement for a period of nine months, September to September to May 2023-2024 with Cleveland Brothers CAD equipment for two pieces of equipment for the heavy equipment program subject to the cause of area school district standard terms and conditions for the purchases of goods and services. Those pieces of equipment are a 420 IT backhoe and a D2 XL dozer. The annual cost will be $44,190 as budgeted in the line item view. 1131 rental of equipment for the Career and Technical Center, an increase of $7,190. No questions or objections. I'd like that placed on the agenda, please. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. No, uh, that's all I have, Mr. Lake. Uh, Mr. Sangston? Nothing, thank you. Mr. Chandler? Uh, that's all we have, Mr. Lake. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lake. Moving to curriculum, Mr. Archer. Thank you, Mr. Lake. Item 12, Trout in the Classroom. Request approval to accept a grant from the Pennsylvania Chapter of Trout Unlimited and General Braddock's Fish Club for Trout in the Classroom for the fourth grade students at Springfield Clifford and Fritz Elementary, up to $2,000. No questions or objections on that get placed on the agenda? Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Item 12B, CAMS ATSI Non-Title I School Plan. Request approval of the Consular Area Risk Middle School Non-Title I School Plan for the 2023-2024 school year. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda? Question. No question? Go ahead, Mark. Non-Title. Our Title I schools, or that schools that are designated for Title I funding are all elementaries, not the middle school, the high school, or the CTC. Thank you. No other questions or objections? That will be placed on the agenda. Item 12C, CAHS ATSI non-Title I school plan. Request approval of the Connells Area High School non-Title I school plan for the 2023-2024 school year. No questions or objections? I'd like that placed on the agenda. Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Item 12D, book series disposal. Request approval to dispose of obsolete curriculum, curricular materials as listed on policy number 706.1. Mathematic books. No questions or objections on that get placed on the agenda? There are no questions or objections that will be placed on the agenda. Item 12E, bids. Request approval to solicit bids for physical education, fitness, equipment. No questions or objections on that get placed on the agenda. There are none that will be placed on the agenda. Item 12F, Tier 2 support materials. Request approval to purchase Lexa Voyager surface materials at a cost of $25,678.60 to be paid for from the ARP ESSER funds. No questions or objections I'd like that placed on the agenda? Hearing no questions or objections, we'll place that on the agenda. Item 12G, travel in accordance with policy number 431. Request approval of the following professional employees travel. Jenny Becker, senior high teacher to attend the math Coaching Network, Intermediate Unit 3, October 6, December 8, 2023, February 9, April 12, 2024, and approximate cost of $400 for travel and substitutes. No questions or objections? Like that placed on the agenda? Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Uh, that's all I have, Mr. Renzi. Uh, nothing. Mr. Mongell. Nothing, Chair. Dr. Coons. I have nothing, thank you. We have nothing, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Horsman. Moving to Cyber, Mr. Coconut. Uh, we have nothing, Mr. Lee. Uh, Mr. Mondial. Nothing. Uh, that's all we have, Mr. Lee. Thank you. Do you have anything under Cyber, Mr. Martrek? No, thank you. 
Moving into federal programs, Mr. Mongeau. And just like the other ones, we have nothing on the agenda for this. Uh, Mr. Martucci, do you have anything? No, sir. Mr. Martre. Aye. Dr. Coon. Aye. We have nothing, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mongeau. Moving to finance, Mr. Renson. Thank you, Mr. Lake. Request approval of the, of the final general fund budget for the Collinsbury School District in the amount of for the 2023-2024 school year. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval of the final general fund budget for the Collinsbury Career and Technical Center in the amount of for the 2023-2024 school year. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval to establish the 2023-2024 school year real estate village at a rate of so many mills per hundred thousand more per hundred thousand dollars of assessed valuation. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval of the Act 511 taxes and spur tax resolution for the 2023-2024 school year. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval of the 2023-2024 Homestead Farmstead Exclusion Resolution as per tax. This will result in a property tax reduction of $70 for each approved Homestead Farmstead property. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval of the following repository for the Collinsbury School District for the 2023-2024 school year. PNC Bank, Somerset Trust Company, PLGIT, PSDLAF, and s and Bank. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval to close general fund PNC Bank accounts effective July 1st, 2023. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval of the attached requisition orders and to authorize district business office to process orders and payments. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval to authorize administration to solicit RFPs for the financial software. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval to make all necessary budgetary transfers for the fiscal year ending June 30, 2023, if necessary. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. No questions or objections that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval for federal programs, cafeteria funds, and the career and technical center funds to borrow money during the 2023-2024 fiscal year from the general fund as needed. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. And request approval of the cyber liability insurance for $19,025 with the broker of record being Gallagher insurance for the fiscal year. 2023-2024 was a decrease of $621 from the previous year. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Anything to add, Mr. Lake? No, I don't. Thank you. Mr. Hartson. Nothing, thank you. And Mrs. Robinson. Um, I just wanted to thank you all for your time tonight. I also, um, I will have all these amounts on the agenda. Um, tomorrow morning I will add all those. I just wanted to make sure that last minute I didn't need to change any of those amounts. And also I will make um, an addition to, on the closing the bank account, I, I put general fund, but I also that is also going to be the Career and Technical Center's general fund account and cafeteria accounts. Um, we have opened those Somerset accounts and now we can go ahead and close those PNC accounts. So I'll also make a change to that motion. Um, I apologize for that. Um, and that's everything. Thank you so much. Thank you for the presentation, Mr. Robinson. Thank you. That's all I have, Mr. Lake. Thank you, Mr. Renzi. Moving to food service, Mrs. Sangston. Thank you, Mr. Lake. We have nothing right now, Mr. Kuchner. No, thank you. Mr. Kuchner. Thank you, Mr. Marchre. Nothing, thank you. That's all we have. Thank you.
Okay, Mr. Renzi, take a big drink of water and buckle down. Let's go. Personnel on the re review. Request approval of Eric C's as a volunteer with the JROTC program for July and August 2023. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Request approval to accept the resignation of school policemen uh, effective June 1st, 2023. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Request approval to accept the resignation of support personnel effective May 25th, 2023. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda, please. Hearing none, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval to accept the resignation of said teacher effective June 19th, 2023. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval to accept the resignation of said teacher effective June 20th, 2023. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. No questions or objections that will be placed on the agenda. Uh, was that letter G I just read? Yes, I uh, yeah. You just let it out. Okay. Letter G, okay. Request approval to accept the resignation of said teacher uh, effective June 22nd, 2023. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. No questions or objections that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval to hire the following professional employees for the 2023-2024 school year in accordance with the collective bargaining agreements with the Commissary Education Association and, the sub and subject to verification of the results of physical examination, TB, te uh, TB test, and drug screenings, required clearances, and all other essential employment requirements under Board Policy 303 and PDE regulations. Uh, one and two, uh, speech and language pathologists. Number three, certified school nurse at Springfield CMP Elementary. Number five, fifth grade teacher at West Crawford Elementary. Uh, five and six, English teachers at the middle school. Number seven, family and consumer science teacher at middle school. Number eight, special education teacher at Dunbar Township Elementary. Uh, numbers nine through 12 also, special education teachers at Dunbar Township Elementary. Number 13, school counselor at Career and Technical Center. And number 14, auto body instructor at, career, at, at the Career and Technical Center. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Any new questions or objections that will be placed on the agenda? Request approval to hire as technical support specialist information systems at a salary of blank in accordance with the technology department employment policy effective Wednesday, uh, what's that, June 28th? Yeah, that's okay. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda? Any new questions or objections will place that on the agenda. Request approval to appoint as a 12-month secretary at the Career and Technical Center, effective July 1st, 2023. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Are there any questions or objections that will be placed on the agenda? Request approval to appoint as an office clerk at the Career and Technical Center, effective with the 2023-2024 school year. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval to appoint as a library clerk at West Crawford Elementary, effective with the 2023-2024 school year. No questions or objections, like that placed on the agenda, please. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Request approval to accept the retirement of technology, effective June 30, 2023, to advertise and post for position. No questions or objections like that placed on the agenda. Any new questions or objections that will be placed on the agenda? Anything you want to add, Mr. Lake? Yes, uh, 17A was just pulled off because of the, the people requesting that no longer needs it at this time, right? That's why we're pulling that off. And I have one to add, which is 17 add, and I'd like, 17N, I'd like to 
make a motion request that uh, we post and advertise for a district superintendent of the Carnesville School District. With hearing no questions or objections, any questions or objections? Hearing none, we'll put that on the agenda for Wednesday night. That's all I have, Mr. Renzi. Thank you. Anything else, Mr. Larson? Nothing, thank you. Mr. Cousin uh, Mr. Cousin Nothing else, thank you. Dr. Bradley. Yeah, I wanted to thank um, everyone involved in the interview process. We had a lot of teachers make themselves available. We had former teachers, retired teachers make themselves available. We had uh, a number of board members uh, that at least consumed the information, made themselves available to take in all the information we had. And all the candidates that applied, it shows what a great place Conclair School District is. Uh, a lot of people want to work here, and it's a great place to be. And it shows when we get a candidate pool in this economy, as robust as we have, it shows what a great place Conclair is. And I thank everyone involved in that process and look forward to those new staff members coming on board to work on a great team that we have assembled. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Renzi. Moving to policy and legislative. Mr. Mongeau. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Uh, we have one item on. Uh, request the approval of the following revised policy, which is 202.1, which is out of the district student attendance. And without uh, questions or objections, I'd like that placed on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. And Mr. Harshman, do you have anything? Nothing, thank you. Dr. Bradley. Thank you, Mr. Mongeau. Yes, I do. Um, under the policy piece, and I'll repeat this on Wednesday for the greater good. I know we have much more attendance on Wednesday. Um, I respectfully urge the governor and all members of Pennsylvania General Assembly to oppose Senate Bill 795 and House Bill 1432 or any other proposal to create a lifeline scholarship program in Pennsylvania. This is very detrimental, especially after hearing Mrs. Routson's uh, well-prepared statement on our budget. This takes direct money away from the uh, taxpayers in Pennsylvania for public schools, and it funnels it into private schools. So this is detrimental to our cause, detrimental to our mission, and I support uh, the board members contacting their General Assembly members, and also the general public, all of our parents, all of our employees, contact your uh, members of the House and members of the State Senate, House Bill 1432 and Senate Bill 795. I thank you for that support. Is so, moving into safety and security, Mr. Martusi. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Request approval from Mike Parlack, Director of Security, to attend CPI, Nonviolent Crisis Intervention Training, on Roeville, July 13, 2023, at a cost of $1,549 for training. No questions or objections I'd like to place on Wednesday's agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. Also, there was a safety and security board report prepared by Mr. Parvac. Uh, send it out to your email. So if you haven't received that, maybe get with Mr. Parvac. Okay. And that's all I have. Mr. Renzi. Oh, no, Mr. Renzi, thank you. Mr. Coconut. Mr. Parlack. No, thank you. Thank you. That's all we have, Mr. Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Staying with you in special education, Mr. Mortuzzi. Thanks again, Mr. Lee. Request for Adam Blank to provide a training to the special education support professionals at a total cost of $350, paid through the non-instructional staff professional development budget. But no questions or objections I'd like to place on Wednesday's agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that would be placed on the agenda. Request for the agreement between the Intermediate Unit you know, 1 and the Collins Area School District for partial hospitalization services for the 2023-24 school year at a daily rate of $234.88, subject to the Collins Area School District's standard terms and conditions for the purchase of goods and services. With no questions or objections, I'd like to place on one's agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. And that's all we have. Mr. Lake, do you have any, any? Nothing, thank you. Mrs. Sangstein. Nothing, thank you. And that's all I have, Mr. Lake. Thank you. Thank you. Moving to student services, Mrs. Sangstein. Thank you, Mr. Lake. Request for the agreement between Rivers Therapy and Consular School District for the speech and language services for the 23 24 school year at a rate of $70 per hour, 
subject to the calls area school district standard terms and conditions for the purchase of goods and services. No questions or objections are like that on the agenda, but I have a question. So, we had a student service meeting um, on the 21st at 3.30. I know Mr. D'Amico's not here, but I need these answered. So, we talked about rubber therapy. Uh, I have the paperwork right here. They said it was $65. I want to know why it's up to 70 now. I can look into that and get back to you. Okay. I don't know if I have it right at my fingertips, but I appreciate the opportunity to get the actual facts to you. Right, because remember when we got, we yep. all had this. Yep. And then, okay. 100%. In my I appreciate office. that. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to get actual facts. I appreciate it. No questions or objections. We'll place it on the agenda, and then if it's correct, we'll read that. Let you read it. All right. Thank you. Request for the agreement between LearnWell Education Services and the Collinsville Area School District for in-home instruction services at a rate of $66 per hour subject to the Collinsville Area School District standard terms, conditions for the purchase of good services. Any questions or objections? I'd like that on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, we'll place that on the agenda. Request for the agreement between Beta and the Connells Area School District for nursing services for the 23-24 school year at a rate of $55 per hour subject to the Connells Area School District standard terms and conditions for the purchase of goods and services. No questions or objections are like that on the agenda, but I have a question. Go ahead. So, I'll have to check this out too, Mr. Brown. Um, so we talked about that. It said it was for the one white paper that you guys gave me uh, on uh, June 21st. You said that was for the CTC through a two year PCCD grant. Correct. And why did that on on there? But are we going to change that? That's, that that's an evolution. If that, if that second part of that is part of the evolution of a long term sub, right. then that would. Uh, negate portions of that. So we can change and, that. And, and let me let me confirm that it's not just for uh, any other type of individual services for one student right. needs. I just have to confirm the exact details of that. And I appreciate the opportunity to do so. Thank you again. All right, and then correct it or whatever we need to do, we'll place it on the agenda on Monday. That's fine. Thank you very much. Request for the license agreement between Smart Futures and the Commissary School District at a total cost of $10,080 paid through the Ready to Learn grant subject to the Commissary School District standard terms and conditions for purchases of goods and services. Uh, any questions or objections? I'd like that on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, we'll place that on the agenda. Request approval to enter into the Qualified Service Agreement with Fayette County Drug and Alcohol Commission for the 23-24 school year, subject to the Connells Area School District standard terms and conditions for the purchase of goods and services. Any questions or objections? I would like that on the agenda. Any no questions or objections? That will be placed on the agenda. Request for the agreement between Next Evolution Healthcare and the Connellsville Area School District for nursing services at a rate of $46 per hour for an LPN and $50 an hour, an hour for RN, subject to the Connellsville Area Standard terms and conditions for the purchase of goods and services. No questions or objections, I would like that on the agenda. Hearing none, we'll place that on the agenda. Oh, wait, I do have a question. Sorry. Okay. Now, can you check on this one too? Because this one was stated for a backup nursing, but we might not really need a backup nursing for a CTC. Yeah, the next evolution held by looking on the student services committee agenda, you know, the backup nursing for CTC. We might not. It, we might not. But it, it, it's as you, so even if you agree to it and you never use it, it doesn't cost the district. But we have that, you know, as an arrow in our quiver to be able to use. Case. Correct. Okay, Correct. I appreciate that. No other questions or objections, we'll place that on the agenda. Request to approve the contractual agreement between Presley Ridge Greensburg and the Collins Area School District 
at a semester rate of $19,650, subject to the Council Area School District standard terms and conditions for purchases of goods and service. I have a comment on this one, please. Um, I'm not sure if it should be stated in there that that's for emotional support, but we have to tell them that. I mean, is that? Since that's what it says on my paper here. Twenty, which twenty one H? G. G. It doesn't have one motion. No, no, it's it says Yeah, it, 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 yeah. For, for mental health, you know, we're, we're going to use Pressy Ridge for mental health uh, services. Okay. All right, thank a, you. No other questions or objections. We'll place that on the agenda. The question is for Grandma Pressy Ridge between Chester Elementary School and Pressy Ridge School District professional mental health services for the 23-24 school year, subject to the Collinsville Area School District standard terms and conditions for the purchases of goods and services. And questions or objections, I would like that on the agenda. Question. Go ahead. Um, this is a breakdown of what Chestnut Ridge could give us services for, but of course they have to go out and find their service or these people to give the service. Uh, we currently get those three people from the intermediate unit one for social work. Uh, I would like to know if Chestnut Ridge is going to give the same service as the intermediate unit. On, on, on the level of uh, the individuals being equally certified and, and qualified, correct, on the availability of individuals, we've gotten assurances that they can fill our needs. I, I mean, have, uh, could anybody resign at any given time or be offered another position or, or take some sort of leave? That is a concern. It's also a concern, you know, with, with other, any entity that offers these services that we contract out with um, or if you hire an employee full time. Uh, can, other than them saying contractually they're going to fulfill their obligations and you know telling us that they are ready and prepared to fill our, our needs, um, I have no other assurances from them other than they have informed us that they are able to uh, fulfill our needs. And, and that was a conversation on Thursday that Nick had with the, the director of Chestnut Ridge. Okay. Uh, are the services going to be the same? as the intermediate unit. Like, they offer more in the mental health part of it than Chestnut Ridge. In, in is it apples for apples? In my professional opinion, yes. It is. In my professional opinion, correct. Would you so find out any information on that? Could, could you find out any information on that? <coughs> Yes. If you don't, I'll have Mr. Rowe. Yeah, I mean. Well, we can give Mr. D'Amico to check with it. I hope that if it is, it's half the price compared to what the IU was going to charge. Yeah, exactly, but we're not, I don't think we're getting the same service. Thank you. Yep. Right. I will, I'll get something together for Wednesday. Thank no you. No other questions or objections. We'll place that on the agenda. Uh, Mr. Lee? Yes. That if, 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 it, sure you make if it's in our possession, we can make it. We can, if it's in our possession, we can make it available. Right. I think we ought to all have a copy of that. I just said make nine copies. Any other questions? That's all I have. Thank you. Request approval. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Request approval of the agreement between Regional Center for Autism and the Collins Area School District for school nurse services for the 23-24 school year. Subject to Council Area School District standard terms and conditions for the purchase of goods and services pending review and approval for the district solicitor. Any questions or objections? I'd like that on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, we'll place that on the agenda. Request for the co-op of school nurse 
practicum affiliation agreement between the Conservary School District and Eastern School of Nursing for Gracie Daly for up to 100 clinical hours to be obtained in the fall of 23-24 school year at no cost to the district, subject to the Conservary School District standard terms and conditions for the purchase of goods and services. Any questions or objections? I would like that on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, we'll place that on the agenda. And there was a committee meeting on June 21st, 23 at 3 30. That's all I have. Mr. Carson? Nothing, thank you. Mr. Mongeau? Nothing, thank you. That's all we have, Mr. Blake. Thank you. And Mr. Sangston, just in place of Mr. D'Amico, I thank the committee for making themselves available at that committee meeting. And also, the Chestnut Ridge proposed contract is attached electronically. We can make hard copies, obviously, available. It's connected. It's available today electronically, but we'll make those hard copies available as well. Are we talking a contract of several pages, or are we talking about a small contract? I think it's a bunch of pages. Is it a whole bunch? It's 40. 14 pages? I can look at it electronically. You can save the paper or save the ink or save the tree, whatever you want to save for me. I can't do that. Right. We'll make you a copy for sure. Is that all right? Yep. Thank you. We'll make Mr. Martre a copy. Is that okay? That's very good. Anybody else want a copy? I'd like to have a copy, please. Mr. Harshman, are you speaking for the IU here, or are you speaking for the Collinsville School District? Right now, I'm speaking for the school district. Okay. I'm not at the IU right now. It's not... I know you're an officer, and I mean, for half the price, I just want to... We'll get the agreement and see if it's... I would like to know if we are getting the apples for apples. All right. Thank you. Moving into technology, Mr. Harshman. Thank you. 22A, Recycle LLC. Request approval to utilize Upcycle LLC for recycling services for the following end-of-life technology equipment in accordance with the board policy 706-1 with the revenue amount to be determined. 784 Chromebooks, 28 laptop PCs, 32 desktop PCs, 24 monitors, 2 interactive displays, 2 projectors. No questions or objections? I'd like that placed on the agenda. Hearing no questions or objections, that will be placed on the agenda. That's all I have, Mr. Martuzzi. No, sir. Mr. Martre. Mr. Martre, do you have anything? Mr. Ghost? Nothing else. That's all we have. Thank you. Moving to transportation, Mr. Kogan. We have nothing, Mr. Blake. Nothing, thank you. Mr. Ramsey? Nothing, sir. That's all we have, Mr. Blake. Thank you. Under the President's report, I have nothing. Under public comment for non-agenda items, we have one person to speak. It's Gina Ansel. She's a teacher at DT, kindergarten at DT. Mrs. Ansel? Is that on, Gina, please? Check that, Kevin, please. Thank you. Good evening. I come here tonight to thank the board for listening and taking the time to talk with me, looking at numbers and situations in the classrooms and positions for the upcoming school year. I'm here to ask that you please take one more look at DT. DT has always had four kindergarten classes. In housing all of the emotional support and the life skills, when a student qualifies, they are sent to DT. As a result, our classrooms grow and the other buildings decrease. These are the children who are in ES and LS are in our classrooms as much as the day as possible. And our classes always end up around 25 students each. Although kindergarten numbers are impossible to predict, our data shows that high numbers for the last few years are some enrollments of parents who cannot make that March registration or who forget to register or they just miss the date or it's their first child and they didn't register early. The students who also get identified come to DT. This leads to our bigger class sizes there. And checking on numbers today at DT as registered at 71 with four more within the process started. So that would put DT classes at 75 and we are still in June. 
We are having 25 every year. Our goal is to try to even out those class sizes between the buildings, but losing a teacher at DT will add more to those three remaining classrooms. These are five-year-olds, and they need our extra attention. So our intervention class sizes are so huge as well. Our homeroom started, my homeroom started this year with 13 well below grade level students and ended the year with four. Three of those four children were identified during the year. 17 students were at benchmark or above benchmark by the end of the year assessment. The beginning of their education is the most important and we need to set that foundation for the next 12 years. It's very beneficial to our students to give them all the extra attention they need to maximize their educational instruction. Maximizing this as student education, we want to give this to our students and continue it through their years here at CESD. If we would open that fourth class at DT, our contract states that if a classroom is reopened within 40 days of the beginning of the fall term, the last teacher is able to be put back in that position for the, by the district. If the time frame is more than 40 days, that classroom will go up for bid next year and it will be filled with a long-term sub. Therefore, I will lose my position at DT and I really love teaching kindergarten. I consider it a privilege to be a kindergarten teacher. Kindergarten is the start of that educational walk that I put my heart and soul into my students to enable them to get the best educational start and enjoy their learning. If I lose my kindergarten classroom as it stands now, I am moving to Springfield to teach fifth grade. My understanding is that the board gave that directive to remove my classroom from the bid, and for that I thank you. However, that was not the result. My thoughts are that admin needs to look at our teachers and our students and, and the enrollment data showing that DT has always had four, West Crawford has always had less at three. With, with that being brought to the attention to the board, tried to right that wrong and that was taken place. However, what is done is done and it cannot be undone. So moving forward and looking at last year, Denver Township has sent 12 overflow students to move to West Crawford. At the transportation cost for each of these students was reported to be approximately around $7,000 a child. Therefore, the district paid $84,000 in transporting the students to another building. So based on these past year numbers and savings gained by closing that classroom at DT, it will be eaten up in transportation costs, and DT will still have big class sizes and less time for individual student attention. Please take that vote to me. Please reopen my classroom and let me have my class. Save that money for transfers and do the right thing for these little people. They fight so hard for their learning. They have the right to a great education at their home building. So but in conclusion, I do want to thank the board for listening to me, taking the time to talk to me. We do appreciate you fighting for our teachers and for our students. Thanks. Thank you. Cool. Moving now, uh, assistant to the superintendent comment. I would like to recognize the teachers that have been coming in and working on the ELA pacing for the elementary level and also the teachers have been coming at the secondary level working on the patent grants. Um, they've been working diligently and it's been a ton of work and I just want to make sure that they know they're very much appreciated. Thank you. Superintendent's comments. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Just that I know that when you travel throughout our buildings, you'll see the buildings in various uh, conditions of disarray. And I want to thank our custodians and maintenance because all the disarray that you experience right now we put into a very uh, respectful order within the next couple of weeks. And the chaos that we see now, that the, the cleaners, the maintenance people, they put it back together in an excellent form and their hard work should be applauded and I thank them for that hard work. Thank you. All right. Anybody else have anything? If not, we'll adjourn. See you Wednesday.